Hello and welcome to my presentation on rituals and symbolism, looking at samples from societies. Here is a quote by French anthropologist Claude Levi Strauss. on rituals. He is saying that rituals is a formalized um, activity in a space carried out by people who are aware of its actions and may use language during the ritual. So I would describe rituals as a predetermined set of behaviors is form formalized through the repetition of actions, disciplined through self-control of behavior. Arnold Gennep was a French anthropologist who referred to the rites of passage as a way of landmarking stages in human life. He linked the theory, religion, the technique and magic, which can be seen within the diagram. So you have the theory, links to dynamism, a spiritual entity which inhabits throughout all things. For instance, manna helps cultivate power and energy. Animism, belief in a spirit which inhabits plants, animals, inanimate objects such as rocks, weather systems, that connects to totemism, which connects to a family kinship relationship who share an animal or plant as their emblem, spiritism. is humans who inhabit a physical body through several reincarnations, which is a living being who inhabits a new physical form after death in a way to reach intellectual and moral enlightenment. Theism is the belief in gods and deities. The technique and the magic includes synthetic. An action towards something affects that person. Contagious, right, is a naturally acquired characteristic which transmit, um, transmitted physically. A direct right, a will which is, is given for action. An indirect right can be a taboo against food, for instance. Why would you take part in rituals? Could be psychological benefits from releasing endorphins, the pleasure and happy hormone, which from chanting, dancing, and singing, this can be released. An ecological benefit, creating food taboos helps to preserve animal stocks. In terms of sacrifice, in Mesoamerica, they sacrificed to please the gods, to prevent them causing earthquake disasters, as they are the ones who give the blood and energy to create humans. In terms of specialism, you can have Catholic priests who are devoted to God's service and they give them the status through their knowledge of rituals. So the religion of shamanism, you'd have a shaman who communicates with spirits from another world between the living world. The word shaman originates from the Tungus language from the Venki people in eastern Siberia who hunt and herd reindeer. So spirits can be seen as ancestral spirits and mythical heroes who cause illness in society. The only way to reverse this is through shaman performing rituals. 
so they would be trained in religious customs of the tribe and the social relationships so they can diffuse social tension. Shamans would often perform a seance at night as spirits are afraid of light and it's a way of communicating with the dead. So they'd be wearing cloths or leather with bones representing the spirits of animals and humans. So during this event, the speech, the gestures and movement would change of the shaman as the spirit enters the body. So it's been said the environment, the animals and humans are all connected. Spirits may be even seen transforming into animals. So spirits would set out rules for the culling of animals through hunting, butchery, distribution and disposal. So this festival is called the Call of 13 Shamans. Bringing together 13 shamans, they need to bring unity. So it's based in the Siberian mountains in a village called Kurum Dag in, T in the Tibet Republic. And it'll be held for nine days, three days in the mountains, including meditation, rites, ceremonies. The main aim is to bring harmony between humans and the universe. So here in the picture, you can see an example of a shaman during a ritual. So here I'm referring to ancient Maya rituals. For instance, the study I looked at focus on the funeral chambers from the ancient city of Calacamal in Mexico. And this help us understand the, the customs and beliefs of people. For instance, tombs and bodies would be prepared for rituals to bring Cha'ulel to the underworld, a spirit that inhabits individuals' hearts and blood. To cover bodies, there would either be a red oak pigment or cinnabar. Um, so cinnabar would be used to cover bodies of kings and queens, and it's formed in volcanic soils in thermal vents. And there's an idea that the red surface links to high temperature, and when applied to part of the body with a cold temperature disease, is a way of balancing the body temperature and restoring health. So bodies often will be wrapped with textile strips and resins and then tied with ropes, sometimes even coloured before wrapping. So you can see examples of the bone in table one and in figure four you can see photos of them. Here is a sample of bones mentioned previously and I'll be focusing specifically on C2 C12, C18, and C20 in the images. So here you can see C2, which is a piece of burnt bone from the cranium, which you can see from the blackened color. C12, <coughs> or cinnabar, from a piece of phalange bone. C18 is either red earth or cinnabar from a cranium fragment. C20 is supposedly cinnabar or red earth pigment. So using SEM, meaning scanning electron microscope, use a focus beam of electrons on the surface. This helps to produce an image and interacts with the atoms, which gives us an idea of the composition and topography of that material. And in the next slide, we can see it's used on bone sample C6. Here you can see here you can see the bone sample C6 using SEM. So on the left, you can see the spongy bone tissue, which is the regular type of surface. And on the right, you can see a smoother surface, 
which is down to the use of pigment. So in summary, pigments are seen as sacred. With the aroma of flowers, plants and oils also seen as sacred. So two types of pigments used were red earth and cinnabar. With the use of resin being from isoprene, which is found in rubber trees and is connected to the ceremonies of royals. So here is the list of references that I've used throughout the presentation. There is one video on a shamanic ritual based off the Achua people in South America. So what happens is an elder holds a bowl with ayahuasca, which you consume, and that must be puked back up. And then you must drink litres of water, and that must be puked back up. So he's the one that gives you the power. If you don't puke it, puke it back up, then you may have a bad vision. So I'd recommend watching that. Thank you for listening to my presentation.